This is the turbo supercharging system of the diesel locomotive. The turbo supercharger is a very important component of the locomotive which is fixed with the engine block. The process of supercharging on the locomotive is done by compressing the air through the turbo supercharger. Now we will explain to you the working of the turbo supercharger. This is the exhaust manifold which is fixed to the turbo supercharger. As the engine is started, the exhaust gas released from all the cylinder heads come into the exhaust manifold. After passing through the exhaust manifold, the exhaust gas getting direction and speed from the bell mount and the nozzle ring of the turbocharger hits the turbine blades. The turbine blades then start rotating and the exhaust gas goes out into the atmosphere through the chimney. In the Alco turbo supercharger, this speed is 19,000 to 21,000 rpm and in the ABB turbo supercharger, this speed is 25,000 to 27,000 rpm. Now, when the turbine rotates, the shaft and the impeller also start rotating with the same speed because of which vacuum is created in the impeller casing. To neutralize this created vacuum, the atmospheric pressure after getting filtered from the air filters comes into the impeller casing. This atmospheric air gets warmer and lighter and also the quantity of oxygen in the air reduces. Then this compressed air goes into the after cooler fixed with the turbo supercharger. Here it is cooled with water because of which the quantity of the oxygen and its density increases. From here, the compressed air gets collected into the V-gallery of the engine block. During suction stroke, when the inlet valves in cylinder head open, then this air through the inlet elbow enters the cylinder. During this time, the exhaust valves remain closed. The compressed air goes from the TDC to the BDC of the piston. When the compressed air reaches the BDC of the piston, the inlet valves close. Now, the piston starts moving from BDC to TDC due to which air in the cylinder starts getting compressed with more pressure and its temperature also starts increasing. As the piston reaches the TDC, air gets fully compressed and becomes very hot. At the same time, fuel gets sprayed in the cylinder through the injector nozzle and the fuel starts burning with air. Let us now show you the compression and the suction process again. The thermal energy generated by this pushes the piston towards BDC due to which the crankshaft of the engine fixed with the piston starts rotating. 
Now the piston starts moving from BDC to TDC. The exhaust valves open and the inlet valves close. The exhaust gas comes out from the cylinder and goes into the exhaust manifold. From there, after making the turbine blades rotate, this exhaust gas goes out into the atmosphere. On maximum load and RPM of 8 notch, the booster air pressure is 1.8 kg per cm2. This process is carried out one by one in all the 16 cylinder heads of the engine block continuously according to the firing order.